congratulations. Thank you very much. We, we obviously we spoke to you before and we were mentioning how tough the competition was for this award. So, so to come out on top, you must be thrilled. Extraordinary, um, really accomplished, brilliant film actresses. And um, I, I'm, you know, I haven't done a lot of film work. I'm not known for my film work. I'm certainly not in the same league as they are. So I'm, I'm really honoured. Um, I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled. Yeah. I mean, it's marking what is uh, such a charming and wonderful film, but I mean, it's been recognised here yes. I, I, in many categories. It must be—it's really great, isn't it? Yeah, that's really gratifying because um, it's a—it's a film that I think we're all proud of, and um, it, it, you know, it's—it's it's a small—it's a small team, and it's often the case. You know, that's what's so great that Biffa recognises independent films. Um, a small group of people without huge resources, just. Um, bringing all their skills together and collaborating really closely and just going the extra mile to make to make the film so I'm kind of you know I'm used to that in the theatre I've done a lot of new plays and you know things starting out not big commercial things and I love to work like that because I love the collaboration and um, I like to make things happen you know <laughs> so I, I feel really comfortable in this in this environment, but I, I didn't really expect to be given this. So I'm just thrilled. Well, we, spoke to, we spoke to Jim uh, beforehand, and he said he was absolutely desperate for you to win today. Have you had the chance to speak to him since oh, uh, winning? He? Oh, God. <laughs> well, he was cheering like a lunatic, you know, and beaming as I looked down at him. It was just, um, well, you know, J Jim is a kind of legend. He's so loved and so respected. Um, all of which is, is deserved, and um, I adored working with him. I, I wish we could do another one, you know, it would be, it would be great. Um, but uh, that's, that's very sweet of him to have said that. But you could do the weekend too, just speak to Hannah, you never know. I think you should speak to someone, everybody should speak to someone. I think we'd, yeah, yeah. And my final question, just uh, in, to relate to the film somewhat, I was wondering, have you ever been tempted or have you ever run out of a restaurant without paying? Yeah, I have. <laughs> would it be too far to ask which restaurant? It's a place called Da Silvano in New York, and a group of us went there. I was on Broadway at the time. We went there for dinner, and um, the, the, the guy there, the maitre d', was a complete. Oh, I was going to say something. No, I can't. Be careful, because you won't be, <laughs> you won't be able to put it out. Um, he's pretty unpleasant, and um, we were really nice, and we asked him to do this and that and that, and he just he treated us so badly. We just looked around and went, "Shall we?" And we'd ordered the food, and we just very politely got up. There was no rush. There was nothing, you know, crazy about it. And we just walked out. And you know what? All the waiters were really pleased. He's obviously, I have to say, he's a complete dick, and he deserved it. And it was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. My little son was with us. And he went, oh, my God, the grown-ups have done something really amazing. <laughs> They'd run out without paying the bill. It was memorable. So, yeah, so I've got a lot of experience. Yeah, so it wasn't just that team. No, it was drawn from life experience. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you.